All right, <clears throat> this is uh, the video I'm gonna make for my six by six converted Mack truck. I uh, originally had the rear wheels powered, so it was a four by six. I've gone ahead and made a full uh, front uh, gear motor powered uh, suspension servo turning uh, front end for this thing. Uh, I have under the hood here, I'm trying to right now, attempt to uh, weight this down so I have a ton of uh, lead weights up in there, wheel weights. But in reality, I'm probably going to have to take all this electrical out here, put it up into the cab, and I have a block of lead weight right there, which is going to get cut up and I'm going to put a big fat chunk of it in here to try and counter so that uh, when I have that excavator or the trailer behind it, I can tow my big heavy metal Volvo excavator behind. Uh, I'll flip it upside down here and uh, and then I'll show the underside of it and get a battery into it. Okay, I have a battery installed in it now, so this is the underside of it. Um, this is the same as I had before, just my uh, design rear end here. Uh, one thing I still haven't done yet uh, is just put some stiffer springs in. Uh, but having the front end here, I've done some pretty solid work with some beefier springs there, so. We'll see how it does. It might actually take some of the tilt out of it because of that. But in reality, I should put something st uh, stronger in there, but I'm not too worried about it right now. So uh, here it is turning there. So the stereo here, I gotta just tense a little bit better because I got some better turning on that side than I do there. So I'm just gonna adjust the trims. Um, there's the uh, throttle there. six wheels moving uh, so yeah pretty fun little project to do here I wanted to have a gear motor powered front end for quite some time uh, I just found that sometimes when I hit dirt or something like that it kind of pushes the front wheels into the dirt a little more and I'd like it to not do that uh, and then also to just like having that extra wheel power is gonna help uh, just to be even better for pulling uh, the other equipment around so pretty happy with it overall um, I'm gonna be doing some little mud flap details here um, on the front as well as the back similar ones I did on the Mac so I'm gonna take these toy ones off and and do some stuff there uh, I got a chrome pen marker I'm gonna hit these wheels again and then hit these ones as well just to kind of detail that up a bit um, I 3d printed and made some adapters that go in to the uh, the wheel so I don't have to do any cutting whatsoever and uh, the distance I made this is just made, made so that those can just put right on and then set screw in with an M4 screw. Uh, using a Tower Pro uh, servo for the steering, which is great. And just some various parts, like uh, some stuff off the CR12 kit that I had before, like the tie rod there. Uh, some of these little, um, you can't really see it there, but those little uh, bushings that come in the servo kits, I got those in there. Most of it's uh, two and a half mil or three mil hardware and um, yeah pretty much that uh, like I said I'm gonna be moving some electronics and stuff up in it in here put some lead in the front just to kind of help hold it down because it's uh, gonna be quite heavy when it's towing that especially the Volvo that'll definitely be the heaviest thing uh, so that's gonna help keep those front wheels down on the ground and uh, not uh, sitting up because it just sags right down as soon as I put that kind of weight on the back of it um, so yeah, I'll be doing some details, and then after that, when the weather clears up and gets warmer, this thing is going to be heading to the, the paint booth. Uh, I'm not sure what colors I'm going to do yet, but I know that yellow box is definitely going to be changed. Um, I honestly like the blue, but we'll see. If I'm going to paint it, I might decide to want to kind of paint the whole thing. So uh, that's going to be a little bit down the road. I'm not sure exactly yet what, uh, what color I'm going to have, but uh, there will be a paint jug bone on this one. So. Yeah, anyways, uh, that's what I got for that, so thanks for checking it out, and uh, oh, just everybody's wondering, I got the uh, L16 actuator in the back there. Uh, this one's the 50 mil stroke one, which dumps fine. Uh, I might just go ahead and try and maybe print some better little uh, spaces in there than the 3 8 PEX tubing I have, just to kind of help stabilize that a little better. But apart from that, yeah, I'm super happy with it, and uh, see if I can do a little test video of it outside.